I feel like I have been sort of transported back in time somehow about three to five years ago. And what I had then is what I have now but now I appreciate it. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to enhance and nurture both your inner and outer beauty. Today, I'm about to do something that ah, I've been thinking about for quite some time. And just in the past few months, a few of my girlfriends and actually more than a few of my girlfriends and even a few estheticians I know, they've all said to me, Lauren, you gotta do it. And that is Botox. I have never had any Botox or neuromodulators before, no injections. So this is a first time for me. And the reason why I'm doing it is because when I smile right here, you see that? That is just come through in about the last six months. And I want to kind of nip it in the bud before it gets any worse. So I don't have anything. Like I said, I have never had Botox. A lot of people ask me why I don't have any lines on my forehead, why my forehead is so smooth. And look as I'm talking to you, although I am expressive, I'm not one of those people that just constantly moves their eyebrows up and down and makes faces as they speak. And that's why I have such a smooth forehead. So right now we are going to go into Dr. Kale's office. We're going to his clinic and Dr. Kale is a very well regarded plastic surgeon and aesthetic doctor here in Dubai. And he's going to fill us in a little bit more about the procedure and what he's going to do, what baby Botox actually is, side effects and all that good stuff. Plus I need to know if I can use my new face or not. So let's head in. So I just wanted to ask you a few questions beforehand. I've never had this before. And what can I expect during the procedure? Is there going to be pain? Discomfort. The pain is very minimal. It's just a very tiny break, and uh, you barely feel the, the, the touch of the needle. Okay. So it's not really painful. And is it a quick, just in and out? It's only, it's only a few seconds. Okay. Not too much time. All right. And Dr. Kale did just look at the emerging crow's feet I have, and he agreed that we're going to do baby Botox. Exactly. This is a baby Botox place. Play a role. Like whenever you have it. Lines are start to, 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 to show, then we tackle them with very bottoms. So okay. You are not already having too many lines or, or too deep lines where you have to do the full flesh bottoms for the, for the whole face. Yes. So just a touch. A, a, a tiny touch. Just a touch. Okay. And then I wanted to ask you as well I like to use the new face device, it's the microcurrent device. Can I still use that on the area? After 24 hours. After how yeah, for the first 24 hours, okay. after the most, we don't do such a, such a treatment on the face. Okay, so just give it yeah, a day. Yeah, we avoid as well the sun exposure and, and, and gym for 24 oh, hours. Oh, so I don't have to exercise today. Yeah, oh, all right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I guess I could just order some pizza tonight. Uh, this, is, this is your off day. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get going. I'm excited. Okay. All right. Let's go. For this one, for the two more. That's it? That's it. Oh, that was easy. Oh my goodness, I'm Botoxed. <laughs> this is the bad one. I want to relax. We just finished the Botox. The whole injection procedure took 20 seconds. And then Dr. Kale massaged my temples for a few minutes and we just chit chatted and I left and I didn't film anything more inside. There, honestly, there was nothing else to film. But I'm sitting in my car right now. He did tell me it will take about five days to fully see the effects of the Botox. And then afterwards, if I want more, if I feel like the lines are still there, I can come back in and he will do a top up. But here you go. So you can see that there is still some lines. I think they look a little bit more minimal. What do you think? And here on the side, I didn't really have any, but 
he did the injection for continuity. So it just looks on even on both sides. It doesn't feel like anything right now. I feel normal, my normal self. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go out shopping a little bit for furniture. So it has not been a big deal at all. So there you go. And I will keep you guys posted. And in five days, we'll see how it's looking. It's been five days now since I had the Botox and I wanted to check in with you today and I thought to myself, you know what, do it right now before you lose any more sunlight because the sun just seems to be setting so quickly lately. Anyways, right now I don't have any makeup on and there's no filters or edits on this video. It's just me in the sunlight with my iPhone. I do have a little bit of a pretty lip crayon, but nothing on my actual skin. So here is the results and you can see as i'm smiling that emerging crow's feet those three little lines have pretty much completely gone away i feel like i have been sort of transported back in time somehow about three to five years ago and what i had then is what i have now but now i appreciate it <laughs> so it looks amazing it looks super natural to me and i don't feel like i've had botox i don't feel frozen it doesn't feel crunchy in my face whatever that means someone had said it feels crunchy to them i'm not experiencing any of that honestly it just feels it feels normal i feel like my normal self the one thing i would say to be conscious of and to do if you happen to be a little bit on the sensitive side like I am, is after you get the Botox, just ice your forehead, ice the areas where you had the injections. And I think that will really help to minimize the post Botox headache, which seems to be a thing because I had a dull headache for about a day and a half. And the more women I talk to, the more I realize that this is just a normal symptom. So icing goes a long, long way. Now I am supposed to message Dr. Kale today. I didn't get around to it because you know, kids, homeschooling life, all that stuff. But I will message him tomorrow. I'll send him a few photos. I know on day five, usually you can go back in if you want or right after day five to get a top up. I'm not sure that I need it. I'm really happy with how everything looks. So my daughter said she can still see a little line, but I mean, I think it looks really good. So I'll send him some photos and if he wants to do a top up for me or thinks I need it or suggest it, at this point, I'll trust anything he says. I'm just, I, I really vibed with him. So then I will do that and I'll probably make just a part two of this video to share that with you. But for now, I am super, super happy. So thanks so much for watching this. And you know what? If you're in Dubai, a great treatment to do alongside with this Botox is micro needling. I've been getting into it and I'm going to do a whole six months course of it. It helps to really boost up that collagen. Check out my first video right here.